Meteorologists have struggled for years in predicting weather patterns. And even when they have been accurate, it wasn't soon enough to prevent big casualties that happened almost every year. Cyclone Foni battered Odisha yesterday. Tragedy unfolding in Indonesia. Monstrous earthquakes. Over 22,000 people are taking refuge. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island. But why is weather forecasting such a complex problem? Why can't we predict the next flood or the next cyclone? Or something as simple and periodic as the annual rainfall? Because it's chaotic. And in such a chaotic system, a small change in a single variable can have a butterfly effect on the system's later history. This used to be a pure science problem until AI came to the rescue. And now for the first time in history, humans have accurately predicted live weather conditions. But is AI capable of predicting this natural phenomena? Or should I say natural disasters? Let's find out in today's episode of The Pretentious Geek. Perhaps the worst winter storm we've ever had here in New England. We all remember watching the weather forecast in the papers or on the news channels. Their biggest limitation was the fact that their forecast was at least 6 to 12 hours behind the real data. But it wasn't their fault. The inaccuracy of forecasting is due to the massive amount of atmospheric data that requires huge computational power in order to solve the equations which describe our atmosphere. And hence, the weather forecasts become less and less accurate as the difference between the current time and the time for which the forecast is being made increases. But now, big companies like Microsoft and Google are feeding this huge dataset into deep neural networks and modeling a physics-free understanding of our atmosphere. After feeding all weather signals of the past from the satellites into a CNN, a model of weather prediction is learned. IBM's Weather Signals, an AI-based tool is designed to predict local weather fluctuations months in advance, having huge impact on agriculture-based businesses and supply chain management. And results have shown that these AI models are computationally cheaper, faster, and even more accurate, thus transforming weather forecasting into weather nowcasting. Imagine a continuously changing 3D model of the Earth's atmosphere, where you can just pin a point and get accurate atmospheric data, and that too in real time. Now this is called climate modeling. But it's not so easy. We need to have a deeper understanding of the other natural phenomena as well, such as the movement of the tectonic plates, the carbon cycle, the water cycle, the Earth's history and what not. Even though a lot of these are to be modeled using science, AI is currently making huge progress in accurately predicting such occurrences and thus differ the casualties from next calamity. Researchers are using CNN to identify the early signs of earthquakes and predict aftershocks. Forest density mapping is being done to prevent wildfires. It definitely is difficult for AI to predict long-term trends of various natural disasters since they are affected a lot by climate change. But who knows? If we keep predicting and stopping these natural disasters, one day AI might help us stop climate change as well. All of this with the global warming and the, that, and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. We need to stop a lot of things, starting this election. Hi guys, if you like this video, then subscribe to our channel and suggest us topics in the comment section. And keep watching The Pretentious Geek.